Welcome back guys, it's JDog here at Seekerhost and today we're going to be going through how you can start yourself a Bedrock server once you start your hosting with Seekerhost. Once you've logged into your multi-craft panel, and of course this will be done with the information sent to you via email, once you've got yourself a package, you're going to be started on a default world. Now default is going to be Java, so we want to switch this over for Bedrock if you're starting up a Bedrock server. Now it's a very easy switch and this only takes a matter of a minute or two, all we're going to do is we're just going to head on up and we're going to stop our server. Of course we want to stop our server just to stop any files being corrupted in the meantime we want to make sure that everything stays nice on our servers and we don't corrupt any files if the server's still on and we're trying to swap files and folders next up there are a few ways of doing what we want to do now which is deleting the old default files you can first of all go to setup if you click setup go over to the template and you can select clean mod directories and plugins you can then select delete all server files and then hit apply when you restart your server with a new jar it will delete all the files appropriately the other option of course is to do this manually and this is actually my favorite method. In fact, this is one of two options. You can go through your FTP file access um, for your multicraft right here, or you can connect your server up to FileZilla, simply highlight all of the files and press delete. However, for a default world, you're gonna be absolutely fine to use the FTP file access because there's not that many files. So let's just go down to FTP file access. Once logged in, I'm just gonna select all and I'm gonna go to delete, submit. Once the old server files have been deleted, just return back to your main page. And what we want to do now is change this from the default jar and we wanna select bed Bedrock. Now Bedrock on here or on our servers is always set to the latest because obviously the previous versions won't work with your launcher. So we're going to be selecting Bedrock latest then we're going to come down to save. Once you press save simply come up and start up your server and this will start you up on a brand new Bedrock server. Once the tick displays this means that you are fine to log on. Now to log on you need to use your IP in your port or create a custom domain. All you need to do now is simply press play, go over to servers and you're going to be adding your new server using the IP and port. So if we go to to add server you need to add a name this can be any name of your choice and then we're going to need the ip followed by the port to do this we're going to enter the ip in here and of course the port number for your server because it's different to the default one and as you can see we now have our bedrock server and we can connect so thanks for watching for any more tutorials check out the rest of our videos on our youtube or of course our knowledge base on seekerhost.co don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We have lots of great Minecraft content coming out and you're going to find it handy, especially if you're running yourself a server. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.